just want to make a quick guide for you guys on how animal pens work in RimWorld. So an animal pen is going to look like this, but it doesn't have to be a wooden fence and a wooden fence gate. So basically, you just need a wooden fence or a wooden fence gate just to get the option to build a wooden pen marker, at least in the version right now, 1.4. So what you'll do is you'll go to structure, you'll plot out a fence, a uh, wooden fence, and then put a gate on it, ideally over somewhere that has grass, but there's a lot of nuance in case you're playing in a biome that doesn't have grass like ice or something crazy. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll pick an area. So I need to expand this anyway because I made it too small. So I could do this. I could make a big pen like this or make it bigger depending on how many animals I want to put into it. And then I would put a fence gate somewhere. So say like right here. And fences are going to be the most efficient, but you don't have to use fences. You just have to build one fence in order to get the option to build a pen marker. Uh, then once you do that, you can click that and then put a pen marker wherever you want. Or you can even take the one that you already have and reinstall it somewhere else to make a different pen. So I could take this pen marker and I could actually put it over here in, in this building. Or I could put it in the prisoner room instead. Or I could put it in my uh, dining room and make that an animal pen. So it doesn't have to just be with fences. It can be with actual walls, stone walls, cave walls, whatever. Just an enclosed space. It has to be a space without an opening somewhere. So then once you do that, you can just go ahead and build your pen and then after it's built you'll be able to put a pen marker in it and after you do that you can reinstall the pen marker or make a new one so i'm going to reinstall this one real fast although all my ducks are dying now because of heat stroke there's a heat wave going on so i can't really show you but you would um it would either happen automatically with your person who handles animals when they have time or you can right click on the animals that need to be put in the pen and it'll be there'll be an option to rope the duck and the person will rope all the ducks available and then take them over to the pen which we i may not be able to show you now because all these ducks are going to die but it's pretty simple you just right click rope or just let them handle it on their own once a pen marker is inside of an enclosed space they should take it into a pen so make sure that your pen has enough space with enough grass for them to eat if it does not or if you want to make a pen that does not have grass instead what you'll have to do is you'll have to make a stockpile and you'll have to go to storage. I would clear all, and then you would choose what you want to put in it. So if it's animals that eat hay, like horses, for example, make it so this, this place can only store hay, and then put the priority on, you know, preferred or something like that. That way, if there's any hay in your colony, they'll put it here, and if there's no space here, then they'll put hay somewhere else. And depending on what it is, you may want to build a small enclosure inside of the pen. So you could build, like, say, a 4x4, four four, like... Um, so you can build a four by four. Oh my God, let me do that. You build a four by four like this, put a door on it. And then you could, you could, um, well, I don't know if you want the door on it or not. I'm not sure how it works, but either way, you could just make, uh, you could at least put it under a roof or you could put it with an animal flap. I'm not sure if they, cause they used to be a door would work, but now because of animal flap, I'm questioning if a door would work, but you could at least put an animal flap and then, uh, that would let the animals go in and out of the barn. And then you could instead put this stockpile inside of there. We'll get rid of that one. Paste the settings. Uh, and then, you know, if we have hay, it'll go here. Or if there's other things you want to have in there, like kibble, uh, put it as preferred and it'll go there. Or if you want to manage storage more effectively, you go to the other one and just make it so the other ones can't store those things. This one can't. There's a million different ways to manage storage. But yeah, you do that. And then they'll just, whenever they're hungry, they'll just go in there and they'll just eat. So uh, that's what you do if there's not enough grass or if they're carnivores or something. I don't know if there's any pen animal carnivores, come to think of it. But anyway, yeah, so if you have an area where there's not enough grass or you don't want to have them in an area with grass or you're in a zone that doesn't have grass, then yeah, you got to have a stockpile somewhere in the pen that you're going to put hay and kibble into. So just make, it big, make sure it's big enough with enough grass or do that and then you're all good to go. Um, I think that's pretty much everything you guys need to know. Just want to make a quick guide on how pens work. So hopefully this pen guide helped you out. Uh, you can, you could use wooden walls, stone walls, or this, you just need to make at least one wooden fence or wooden fence gate in order to get the option to make your first pen marker. And then from there, uh, you're good to go. Also, when you mouse over it with the pen marker, it'll show you a, an example of how many cows could stay in this space, how many goats, how many chickens based on how much grass is in here. So that also helps you manage how much, how much grass, how big the area needs to be. But anyway, guys, that's it. Hopefully it's helped you out. Now you have a better idea of how to make a pen and how to use pens and what to do with them in RimWorld.